pause for a moment to recall a time when you just want to stop and find a safe place to reside. What place do you think this would be? How does it feel? And what do you really experience in this space? In a guide to describe the interstices, Burke defines this as a borderland space of otherness, where an individual's professional identity is reshaped, altered, or recombined according to their functions. This comes close to how the interstice was first described in the 15th century as the space between the stars. Interstices are spaces that sway towards the temporal and incidental as individuals break away from pre-existing boundaries. In this place, complex connections, transformations, and transpositions arise. As a musicologist and educationalist in an arts academy in Singapore, this is a hyper-attractive idea. What value could this give to our students' learning experience? And what exactly do they regard as helpful and wanted in higher educational learning? Consider student A, a second-year violinist participating in ensemble and orchestral performances. Unknown to faculty, the student feels more comfortable and confident when there is no teacher present. Consider student B, a third-year clarinetist who initiates a clarinet studio to mentor junior instrumentalists. While the Woodman faculty offers performance opportunities and community engagement, the students recognize that interstitial communities of practice are indispensable. And lastly, consider student C. As a pianist, she's often isolated in individual music making. Driven by her desire to step out of the box, this student leads another life. She finds interstitial moments in accompaniment positions and participation in the choir. Many other institutions will recognize at least some of these features. So the aim of this provocation is to help learners today rediscover the joy of learning, fully realize their self-potential and set their own professional and personal goals. Acknowledging the interstices gives rise to fresh ways of appreciating learning environments and shifts the locus of control away from what institutional curriculum alone provides. This is what Fanny Crosby describes as the cleft of the rock that shadows a dry and thirsty land to give you strength for the day. This is the story of shifting lights through the interstices. Enjoy notions of what it means to learn. Thank you.